I think passing on my skills as an artist can maybe have the possibility of awakening another artist. I think throughout my life I've seen what art does for people and how it communicates all sorts of things that are going on with the human condition. Nothing is remembered unless it's in an art form, sculpted, painted, uh, humanities, end of arts and humanities, that it's in a poem, it's written in a book. I mean, these are all things that preserve who we are. The Jacobs Artist Retreat uh, started seven years ago already. This is lucky number seven. I think this is the third time I've done it. Mm -hmm. And in the past, there's been a lot of uh, the same faces. And this year, most of them are brand new. So it's been fun to get to know different folks and uh, see how they came to do the retreat. I found out that there was a uh, art uh, class and I actually was gonna bring my daughter who's 20, but she had to uh, tap out, so instead I brought my fiance. So she and I are trying to figure out how to do this art, and we're not that very good. I don't know anything about art. I don't know how to paint, and I am interested to learn. What got me interested in art is creativity. The artist, Scott Jacobs, I've studied him um, on the internet. I have had an occasion to actually meet him through friends and I'm very excited to be here. I met Scott about five years ago with some mutual friends and he told me about the retreat and it's sold out a lot and this year I noticed that there was a spot open so I jumped right on that. Um, I've been interested in art from the time I was a young child. I always gravitated to uh, the art classes you know even as early as elementary school and um, I took art classes whenever I could. If I were going to give advice to another aspiring artist, I would tell them, have confidence in your own style. Whatever comes out of you, that is your art. Don't feel that you need to duplicate somebody else's work. Be original. From where I'm coming from, it seems like professional artists, like here teaching this course, or this retreat, I guess, they're all a little bit different, and you have to look at it um, from different perspectives. So art, I think, has a lot to do with perspective. Art, especially painting now that I'm getting into it again, you just absolutely get to do what you as a person want to portray. Whether it's somebody else or your own ideas about life or things, it's just freeing. It's a necessary part, I think, of getting the garbage out of our head. You know, if you are creative and, you know, you have a passion for it, stick with it, you know. That's the only way, you know, to get better at it is to do it, you know, every day. This year is the first year my dad's really asked me to give a demonstration on water drops and really like pump me up and be like, Alexa's really good at this. Alexa, go give a demonstration. I'm like, oh, okay. Like getting that approval from my dad is, has been probably my favorite part this year. Encouraging words for other artists would be just throw paint at the canvas and see what happens. There is no right or wrong when it comes to art. You can paint whatever you can imagine and it's beautiful. It's fun. I mean, to see them smile and to go and so, wow, I painted that at the end to see the picture that they painted over a four-day period to go home with the knowledge to do it again. That's a pretty great experience and I, I, I love it as much. And my daughter says, you should, you're going to do it next year and I think about it like, I'm so busy. I do all these shows. I have so much on my plate, but I get a lot out of it. And so we're going to continue doing it because it's not just about me and how busy I am. It's about all those people up in the room and giving back to them.